Hey everybody, hope you're all doing well today. I just wanted to hop on today and do a quick, maybe 10 minute application of mascara makeup, just so you can see how easy it is to do some basic things with color correction and highlight and contouring. People get really freaked out by those terms and honestly, I did too when I first heard them. Um, I thought I am kind of too old to be learning these techniques, that's for all the younger gals, but I'm here to tell you, you can do it too. So I'm gonna hop right on and get into it. First thing I'm gonna do today is a little color correction. So you can see as a mature woman, I'm 63, um, things happen. We get these age spots, discoloration, under eye discoloration, and actually there's things you can do for it. I used to think that concealer was the trick so I would buy some really awesome concealer and put it on and it basically looked like a white blob of concealer. It looked kind of heavy and cakey and I didn't like that look. So what I'm gonna show you today is using color correction. And I have a palette of all kinds of different colors. When you get started with mascara, I basically give you four colors to start with. I'm an artist, so I have a whole bunch at my disposal. Um, the first one I'm gonna dip into is called mango and you can see i'm just dipping my finger in it and it's got a little orange tint to it and what we're doing is kind of working with the color wheel under our eyes we have that kind of purpley blue and to cancel that out we use an orange color so you can see i'm just gonna kind of dot that on those kind of under eye discolorations you can see between that one and that one what a difference just dipping again dipping my finger in and color correcting so if I use traditional concealer, I would just be hiding it under a light color and you'd end up looking like a raccoon. So we don't wanna do that. So you can see that kind of took care of that. I'm also gonna take that and kind of just dot that up on this little spot up here to hide that. I also got a couple more spots over there that I'm just gonna kind of cover up. And sorry if I'm looking deep into my camera, I don't have my readers on. So can't always see what I'm doing. Again, right on that nose, that little spot I have. So that kind of took care of that. I do have a little bit of redness if I wanted to. I could take the, another color and kind of just dot that. I have something called Aspen. But quite honestly, your main highlight color that I color match you to has really good coverage and it should be able to take care of that. So I got my color correcting done. I am going into my main highlight color and that color for me is called Amber. I'm gonna use this 30 second hack brush. Love this brush, lovely two-sided professional brush. And you don't need a lot of product. So that's kind of the learning curve when you get started with mascara is you don't need much. So you basically, again, you see the little tins in the magnetic compact. I am just gonna dip in there and just kind of stipple. So I'm kind of using a blending stippling and the lovely thing about cream makeups is they blend into your skin. So they kind of become like a second skin for you. You don't need a lot of product. They're blendable, they're buildable. You can just see how that covers my redness. So just kind of blend that. My goal here is just to kind of even out my skin tone. And that's what I'm doing with my main highlight. I just want to get some light coverage on there. I don't want to look really made up. I just want it to be very natural looking. And that's what we're doing here. I'm gonna go into my forehead and just kind of, again, kind of stipple, blend. And it just really moves right with your skin. That's the other thing I like when you have wrinkles or things like that, it doesn't sit in there. It just kind of melds into your skin. Okay, so I got that nice even coverage. Next thing I'm gonna do is take my brightening highlight. And again, this is a color I would pick for you that's gonna go into kind of a triangle shape on your face. This is what's gonna bring dimension to our face. And I'm gonna use a color today called Aura. And that shade is usually a couple of shades lighter than our main highlight. And we call our, our foundation highlights. So that's sometimes very confusing when you just get started. So you can see I'm taking it right up here, down my nose, and I'm making kind of an upside down triangle. 
So you see I have the brightening highlight here, not over here. So again, that's just gonna brighten that whole triangle on my face. I'm gonna take it right down my nose and kind of up into my forehead. And don't worry, because I'm gonna blend it out in a minute. So right now I just wanna get some product on my face. So I have the brightening highlight. The other thing I like to do with the brightening highlight is go right up on, on top of our eyes because that also gets very discolored the older we get. So we wanna give ourselves a nice, even tone, clean canvas. That's gonna make us look fresher and younger. Okay, so I got my main highlight. I have my brightening highlight. Next is contour. So that's gonna be one of these darker shades here. I'm using a color called Astoria. And I'm going in with a brush called the Detail Hack Brush. And this brush is really nice for contour. Again, you can do your whole face with one brush, but I'm an artist, I have many brushes, so why not use them? So I'm gonna go in basically right under my cheekbone. So you feel where your cheekbone is? There's a little bit of a hollow. We're gonna start at our hairline and just give it a little swoop. Okay, we don't wanna go too, too far down. So you can see what I'm doing there. Same thing on this side. Just kind of start at my hairline and give it a little bit of swoop there. So what that's gonna do is carve out our cheekbones and give our face some dimension. I also like to use the contour up here and that's gonna kind of bring down your forehead a bit. And again, starting right up at your hairline. And I know I have that age spot I co covered up there. And if I'm hitting it with the contour, I might have to cover that up again, but that's okay. The other place contour is gonna go is right under here. And you can see I have that saggy kind of skin that happens when we get older, isn't that fun? Yeah, this helps with that. So just where that jawline should go, I'm gonna put this and that's gonna create a shadow and make a nice sharp line there. So it's gonna look more defined. And then with the contour here, we're just gonna kind of blend that down into our neck. Up here, we're gonna blend it into our hairline. And this is gonna kind of blend up towards our cheekbones. Okay, I won't do the final blend till I get our blush. So the cool thing about our lip and cheek colors is they're universal, they're for both lip and cheek. So I'm gonna pick a color today called Ruby right here. It's kind of a pinky red. It's beautiful for fall. Again, a little goes a long way. So I may have even overdone it just tapping into it, but that's all you need right there. Now I'm going to do the final blend and I'm doing um, what we call the B squared brush, blush and bronzer brush. Again, you could buy this 30 second hack brush and do everything with this brush. And that's what I did when I first started mascara, but now I have them all. So I'm going to take advantage and I'm going to just kind of gently, again, just blend. I love the way these blend. It's to me, this is like magical. They just blend so nice. So again, I'm gonna take that contour up and I'm gonna just come in here with my contour, make sure everything is blended together nicely. And we'll just let that blush sit for a minute. If it looks a little too hot, we'll tone it down. But a lot of times you just have to put it on and let it sit for a minute. Um, next thing we're gonna do is some eyes. And I'm gonna take this cool little hotline brush. I'm gonna go back into that contour color that I used because everything's universal. You can use it for so many things. And I am gonna do some eyebrows. And this could get tricky because again, I'm looking at my phone and not a mirror. So I'm sure you'll let me know if I have crazy, crazy eyebrows. I'm trying to just do some small strokes and fill in those brows a little because the older we get the more sparse they get. And this to me is kind of a face framing thing. So you can see the difference between the two eyes. I'm gonna take the spoolie end of this brush and kind of brush them up, make them look natural. So that makes a huge difference. That gives you a total eye lift just by filling in those brows a little bit. So you could use the contour colors. You can also use, um, there's some different eyeshadow colors that we have. 
that work very well for, for your eyebrows as well. So you don't have to be buying all these extra brow liners and all those things. That's the other thing I love about this compact. You can buy four colors, have them in your compact, and they will do double duty and triple duty even. Okay. Again, I don't have a close-up mirror, so I'm hoping we have some fill. All right. Next thing I'm going to do, and you can kind of see how this is coming together already. I'm getting some more life in my face. I'm adding dimension. I'm adding color. I am going to do a quick eyeshadow look. These are some of the eyeshadows I have in my palette. I like to start with a really light shade. I'm going to do something called Pup. And this is the Blend and Tap brush I'm using. And I'm going to just take a nice coat of Pup over my eyes. And remember, we used that um, brightening highlight to go over our eyes. So that's kind of a nice primer, too, just to kind of make sure everything is a nice, even color. So I'm going to give that a coat of pop. Next color I'm going to go in is going to be a transition color. I'm going to go with Bubba. It's my favorite for fall. And that one I'm going to go in my crease. But because I have older aging eyes, they're a little bit hooded, my natural crease, if I shut my eye, I won't see it. So I have to create my own crease. So I'm going to go up just a little bit higher with that color Bubba. It's just a gorgeous color. And do the same thing over here. And just bring it up a little bit. All right, the next thing I like to do is go under that brow bone and I'm gonna give that a little shimmer. I have a color called Unicorn, which has got just a little bit of shimmer. It's this white color here. And I don't like to use a lot of shimmer, just little touches of it. If I use it on my whole eye, um, because my eyes, are aging, it'll look kind of like snake skin. So we don't want to do that. So now I'm going to just take those colors and just kind of give them a little blend. I don't want to see any lines. I want everything to be blended nicely together. The other thing I like to do with that unicorn, that real light shade, is just kind of dot it in the middle here. That's going to bring light to the center part of our eye. See, that kind of just brought it in. If I want to add a little depth of color to the outside of my eye, again, we're going to bring darkness outside, lightness in. So that, again, that whole triangle of light that I talked about is going to make your eyes pop, um, the center of your face pop. So now I'm going to take the dark shade. Um, I am going to go in with something called Gilded. This is kind of my new favorite color for fall and I'm just going to kind of touch wherever you touch with your brush is kind of where the most product is going to land. So you just want to kind of put a little bit of product on your brush and kind of just tap it at the end there. And this is gilded that I'm using. Gorgeous color. Again, a little bit of shimmer and that's fine right at the edge like that. Okay. And then I'm gonna just blend that out with our eyeshadow everything brush. So I'm using the windshield wiper motion to do that. Here's another little trick. If you put your eyes on after your makeup, you get any fallout, you can just go ahead and dip your finger in that highlight color that I used, which is called Aura. And then we're gonna just smooth that over so if anything lands there, we'll just kind of lighten it back up. Blends right in. All right, one of the final steps. I like a little eyeliner. So I'm gonna just use, again, that contour color. And I am just gonna put it on the outside. So I'm gonna put about the outer third of my eye. I'm gonna do a little bit of liner. Again, we don't wanna make our eyes appear smaller by lining the whole thing and using dark eyeliner. So I'm using that dark brown color that I use for contour. And that's kind of the perfect shade for my, for my liner. It's not too dark and I'm just gonna bring it in a little bit here. And the other thing I like to do, go back into that dark shade that I, that I used on the corners with Gilded. And I'm just gonna bring that around underneath my eye. That's gonna create what's called a halo effect. 
So it's a lot more subtle than going in with a dark line. It's just, it's adding some dimension and darkness there, but not that harsh line of a liner. Now what I wanna do is take my lips, lip and cheek colors. Remember I used that ruby on my cheeks? That looks like it's pretty good. So I'm gonna just leave it alone. Hmm, give that a pop. Pop a color. And if you wanted to, you can line your lips with contour. A lot of the girls do that too and it looks, looks great. I'm gonna finish off with a little mascara. Kind of my last final step. And excuse me while I'm putting my eyes right into the camera, but I don't have a mirror. So I can't really see what I'm doing. Yeah, one of the hazards of getting old, isn't it? Like you can't really see. I usually have a nice magnifying mirror in my bathroom when I'm getting ready, but today it's the phone. So there you have it. That's my quick. Honestly, this takes me 10 minutes or less, but I'm gabbing to you and chatting with you, so it's taken a little bit longer as I explain it. But this is all it takes, and I feel like I brought some brightness to my face, I brought some dimension to my face, and this is just a really nice natural makeup look. Final thing I wanna do is use my little perfector sponge, this little marshmallow of goodness. And I'm gonna spray that with our um, setting spray and just kind of go in and do your final blend and it's also setting it with a setting spray. So that'll make sure your makeup lasts all day long. So that's kind of the final thing I like to do is just give it a little pop of the setting spray and press it in with, with the Perfector sponge. And that's all you need to do. That's it. So if you're ready to get started and get one of these cool little compacts of your very own with all your colors that are perfect for you, I am happy to color match you. So in this one, I have a main highlight, a brightening highlight, a contour, and a lip color. So we would choose those colors that are perfect for you. Um, you would get those and a brush if you'd like to really make the makeup work well. And that's all you need. So let me know, I'll be happy to color match you. Thanks everyone for joining me. Hope to hear from you soon. If you need a color match, please just message me. Otherwise, please subscribe to my YouTube channel for lots more tutorials and check out my Facebook page at Mature Beauty Studio. Thanks again.